Ahoy, I'm Alex. Ahoy, I'm Danny. And we're seriously nerdy about a lot of things. Things like Disney cruises. Spoiler alert, we're on it right now. There's water out there and underneath us. In case you couldn't tell, because our gallery wall is missing. But you'll see it in the fancy intro animation, right? You can't just snap I and expect... I can snap at things. Look, it's be... happening right now over our voices. This. Oh, you are so confident. What if there was nothing? <laughs> If you've cruised before, like I have, you know there's a lot of cool adult-only activities, things like crafts and trivia. Awesome. If you're a new cruiser, like Alex, you don't know those things. So it's up to us to perhaps suggest that you bring activities on board. Activities like your own needlepoint. So in this video, we thought we would show you how to bring a couple items on board in your suitcase that are cruise-friendly and easy to do and give you sort of a little activity wherever you might be on board. Also, happy Halloween. Okay, sailors, if you want to complete this onboard craft, you'll need embroidery floss, a punch needle and threaders, an embroidery hoop, linen, and a paper template. Now, this adorable digital download was from Etsy seller Perfect Day Digital, and I printed it at home before we sailed. I decided to use the laziest way possible to get the art onto the fabric, and that's by taking a pencil and scribbling on the backside of the artwork here. And then that way, when you flip it right side up, there's carbon that you transfer onto the new surface. So you'll see that I'm tracing really hard and essentially pressing down that pencil carbon onto the linen. And it works pretty well, but best of all, it's super easy to do and you don't need a lot of supplies for it. Having never punch needled before, we watched a lot of YouTube videos to get started. And this is not the video that will teach you how to punch needle well. This is the video that's sort of quirky and cheerful where you can watch the satisfying time lapse of nerds struggling with art projects. So as you can see, to get started, you thread this very uh, intricate needle and then you punch the threaded needle down into the fabric and then catch it from the back. And then after that, you carefully pull the needle out and you let the thread sort of naturally stretch to form the stitch. And then you punch the needle back down again. And if you're thinking, but couldn't you just pull it all out? Yes. What's keeping the stitches in place? Gravity. And that my friend is punch needling. It's the tension in the linen that's basically locking all your punch threads in place. And it is terrifying. But hey, it's Halloween on the high seas, so terror is welcome here. Oof, sorry about that. We had technical difficulties. There was a champagne emergency. After I got started, I would essentially block out sections of color and use my printed guide as a reference. So I would just keep looking back at the template that I brought. And the stitches can sort of be like wabi-sabi and wacky, or if you're Alex, they're beautiful and precise. That's sort of the nice thing. There's a lot of flexibility with this craft. I would say all in all, Alex and I spent about four to five hours over the course of the cruise completing our needle punches. He did a little Grogu with bone broth and I did this cat. And uh, it gave us a nice excuse to sort of like sneak back to our room and order some room service and watch a classic Disney movie or look out at the ocean. The best part is that it's fairly portable. So if you wanted to take it up on deck or to a lounge, uh, it can go with you wherever you're going. Plus, you know, in a, in a perfect world, you only need a few supplies in your suitcase. So it's just, you know, the fabric, the hoop, the thread, and the needle. 
Don't forget scissors. Scissors would be embarrassing. And you're good to go. One of my favorite parts about this is that there's so much customization you could bring with any of the printed art that you bring from home, uh, any of the colors that you choose. So my biggest takeaway is don't pay for a kit. If you were interested in learning to punch needle, you're probably going to punch needling something that you're not super passionate about. And this is a YouTube channel that celebrates all the things you love. Be loud and proud about your fandom. So. Don't pay for a kit. You can use any digital art you like. You can print it from home, support Etsy sellers and local artists and find things that you love. And then when you find something you love, just take that artwork to your local craft store and pick out embroidery floss that matches that color scheme. Easy peasy. So having tried it out, I wouldn't say punch needling is my new favorite craft, but it's absolutely an easy and approachable adult craft uh, for your next cruise vacation. So if you're looking for something new and something creative to kind of unwind on your next trip, you want a built-in activity that you can do anywhere on the ship, I think we would recommend this one. Give Punch Needling a go. So what did we learn? One, Alex is a better punch needler than I am because he has patience. And apparently patience makes your embroidery look better, which is why he would get more gentleman collars during the antebellum era than I would. I also chose something smaller and simpler, and I didn't use as big a variety of colors. If you're concerned about time constraints, maybe go with something simple. In this, we were trying to bring as few supplies as possible, so we were using literally a mini golf pencil that we had in our bag. But they make all sorts of cool products that help trace their designs more cohesively. We just did kind of a quick and dirty pencil outline, and that did make it a little bit tricky for me when I was trying to decipher where my lines were. I also learned that it is very easy to pull out your stitches with this, so it takes a little getting used to. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe because, you know, that's what people say on YouTube and they mean it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We're crabs now. Goodbye. We're crabs. Bye -bye. We're crabs from the Bye -bye. sea.